hello everyone and welcome back to Flo's corner so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i do my flat twist and curl hairstyle it actually has been about a year since i've done my last flat twist and curl it is one of those things where i do once in a blue it's not often the reason being is because i don't have a hoodie dryer so i have to sleep in the curlers and the curlers can be uncomfortable when laying down so that's why i only do this hairstyle sporadically not really all the time so here I'm just starting out with a day after wash day. So all I did was put my hair into four twists and then I had pinned the twist down. It gave me a little stretch, not so much of a maximum stretch, which is fine. So I'm going to part my hair in three parts. I'm going to do one side part on the left side, one side part on the right side and one down the middle. This will give me the look and shape that I want my style to be. I like to do this style in particular where I part in a certain manner because I like when I do the flat twist on my hair that gives me the look of a bang even though I know my hair is long, too long for a bang. So what I mean is I'm going to be working from the inside out so all of my flat twists is going to start from the crown of my head and the flat twists are going to come down. I like to part my hair in the middle because the first twist that I always try to do is to actually have a twist where that part is. So what I mean by that is I like to look at the part and then I move a little bit to the left and part over and then I'm going to move a little bit to the right so I can part over. So this middle piece that I had the part is actually going to be a flat twist. This is definitely going to help me achieve that bang look that I said before. So I'm only going to be using two products for this hairstyle, which is my flaxseed gel and some water. I already moisturized my hair yesterday because I washed my hair yesterday. So it was still kind of oily and things. I just wanted to use some of the gel to give me some definition. I won't go in depth on how to do the flat twist because I do have a video on how I do flat twists in my hair. And I will link that in the description box below. The technique is very simple. It's something similar to a corn braid. Instead of using three strands of hair, you are going to use two strands. You are going to twist it around itself and grab hair while going down. But definitely go check out my video on how to flat twist. There is where I go in more detail on the process. So the difference about the way I do my flat twist and curl is that once I finish my flat twist, I do not add the curler right after I finish the twist because I feel that the curlers get in my way. So what I like to do is flat twist my hair all the way around first and then add my curlers towards the end. So it is definitely optional to do it my method, but you can also do it the other way. You can flat twist one strand and then you can put your curlers in right then if you would like. But personally, I just like to do it the other way. So here I'm just adding a little bit more gel to the ends of my hair so that I can really get some of that definition while it is setting. And then I'm going to repeat the process for the rest of my hair. I'm going to be flat twisting my hair to come into a cone shape. So here we are all done and as you can see like I said before I had started in the crown of my hair and I moved downwards 
Now I'm going to be using some of my perm rods. Honestly, I had more of the pink ones versus the other ones, but I used a mixture of different sizes. So what I like to do is unravel the twist to the part where I stop grabbing hair. And I like to take a perm rod on each of the pieces, which is the two pieces from the twist. And I'd like to curl up. So what I'd like to do is take my hair, wrap it around a few times, and then I am going to curl under, and then I'm going to twist the curl around my hair. Adding two perm rods to one flat twist actually gives me so much more definition. So here I'm just going to demonstrate it once again. I like to let the curlers hang a little bit loosely. I don't like to put it on so tight. It's up to your discretion if you would like that or not. These perm rods you can purchase at any of your beauty supply stores or even Walmart. They are very inexpensive and they do not cost much. And they do have them in many different sizes as well. Now I did notice that I lost a lot of perm rods that I had. So in the back I used one per twist. So for the back, instead of unraveling them, I actually kept them twisted and just added a perm rod on the end. So now this is the next morning. I did sleep with all of the perm rods in. Because this hairstyle was not done on sopping wet hair, all I did was use a spritz of water versus drenched hair. So a good 12 to 15 hours actually did much better than actually having to wait a full 24 hours for this hairstyle to set. So here you're just going to unravel the perm rods very gently because you don't want to lose the curl pattern and the definition. You can truly see the shrinkage which just means that that head of hair is super healthy honey. So here they are all out. Before I start the unraveling, I'm going to add some of my Smooth and Shine Serum to coat my hands. This will help with keeping the curls intact and not causing so much frizz. So what I like to do is just start by unraveling by following the pattern of the flat twist. So pretty much when you started to flat twist your hair, you picked up hair in different sections. So when you unraveling it, you can feel the difference. You can feel the separation and all you do is just follow that groove. I do not do the twirl around my finger method that I see a lot when people are doing the flat twist outs, which is after you unravel you a piece, you will actually take the, the twist curl and curl it around your finger. I don't feel like I need to do that to achieve the same results. The goal when unraveling is just try not to rake through your hair because you don't want to go in between the curls and mess up the definition. I do believe that a little bit of frizz is just fine. Some people really make it a big deal about having frizz in their hair, but honestly, the style is gonna set as much as it can, and then sometimes it's just inevitable, so don't worry about it. So here I'm going to be using my afro pick to uplift my roots and actually cover some of the parts that you can see through. So here is the bang look that I was talking about earlier. You can truly see the difference that adding a flat twist in the middle of your hair where the part goes. I knew that adding flat twists on my hair would give my hair some shrinkage, especially doing it one day after wash day without having such a stretched hairstyle. So I knew that my hair would actually shrink back into this look right here, which will give me that bang without being overly long over my eyes. But you can have a part in your hair any style that you want. So what I also like to do is shake my hair in different directions because I feel that this adds more volume to my hair without making it look so flat at the top. Trust me, this definitely helps. 
You can shape and mold your hair into different hairstyles with this flat twist and curl. It is completely up to you, honey. I like to keep my hair just like this because it will grow big and voluminous throughout the next couple of days. But I thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!